Good morning, everyone. This is Calvin. As you know, now we are going to create a fun little card with some stamping. Um, I went ahead and cut this at two and a half by five and a half, and then this one is two and three fourths by five and a half. I also cut ahead five and a half by four and one fourth to put on my card base for my card base. Let's see. This is the stamp. There you go. I'm using this stamp right here for the color, the solid color, so I can use colored, um, okay, and I'm not using Wisteria, I'm going to use Mulberry and Mocha, and I also pulled in this cute stamp set and this is called Pokey Pokey. <laughs> I think I got this uh, not too long ago on sale and I love it. I've been playing with it and I, um, I'm going to stamp thanks. Okay, so let's start creating this background piece. If I can find my, um, okay, this is scrap. I want to stamp an image. Okay, I like that. Get my chamois. I don't want any scrapes. And I'm just going to stamp them, kind of die, you know, offset them. <clears throat> and then one more down here. And I did get a little stamp overage there. Next, I picked the little center. And with that, I am going to off or uh, stamp to second generation stamp to fill in the centers. Whoops, whoops. I'm forgetting what I'm doing. <laughs> One more down here, and then there. All right, so that's done. Now, let's see. Then I picked uh, this one off of, I have all my stamps and stuff on my, this is from, um, to do. Floral Celebration Stamp of the Month of August 2020. And to be able to tell what stamp of the month you get, up here you will have an S for stamp of the month, the year, and then the month. So, 2008. Hope that's clear. Okay. So next thing I'm going to do is stamp these around. I like that. 
and then I'm going to go in and fill where I can just little little ones here and there off the page this one needs to go at a different angle okay I like that okay so now all we need to do is assemble our card now before we add this I want to add some ribbon let's let's see if we have enough of this okay I'm going to cut it and glue it and then have the rest of that to uh, tie a little bow so I'm going to snip that and then turn it over and I'm going to put a little bit of glue for the ribbon kind of like that and I'm just going to hold pressure see if you can see me okay I had to stand up and look in my at my video okay I'm going to go ahead and put adhesive on this plus some wet glue and I'm going to glue this onto my espresso cardstock and try to get it straight Yeah, that looks good. My um, this isn't straight though. Okay, that is so I'm going to add. Uh-oh, you're going to hear the TV, and I'm almost done, but I hear the TV, so. Okay, now we're, you're going to take the extra ribbon, and you're going to tie a knot. Just like that, and I tie a double knot, or tie it. And then you trim off your ribbon, kind of like that. Next thing you do is you get out your card base, and you get out your mocha ink, that's what I'm using. And then you are going to stamp thanks in the bottom, and let me see if I... I don't want any extra, so we're going to wipe that off. You're going to stick it in the very, very bottom of the right, right bottom corner. <clears throat> Just like that. Okay, almost done. Okay, next you do this together. And then add a little bit of adhesive. Make sure it don't come up. Oh, got that. And then, sorry if my head is in the way. Let's move it up a little bit. Oh, can I? See already and it's peeling it up. There we go. Okay, let's get some gems and add a couple. Kinda here and here. 
Let's see, do I have a card base? Okay, I don't have one on my desk, but you just glue this on the front of your car base. Isn't that cute? I love the stamping. All right, you guys, thank you so much for coming, and uh, check my links listed below. And if you like my channel, please give me a like, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.